Hello, everyone. I'm Vincenzo Calla, and welcome to Meet the PM's episode 14. Today, we will be meeting Canada's 14th Prime Minister, Lester B. Pearson. Mr. B. Pearson was born in Newtonbrook, Ontario on April 23rd, 1897. He was well-known diplomat before entering politics. He was also the president of the UN General Assembly and even won the Nobel Peace Prize for the role he played in the Suez Crisis. He first started getting involved in politics in 1935 when he was the first secretary at the Canadian High Commission in London in the lead up to World War II. Lester B. Pearson became Prime Minister on April 22, 1963, and served until April 19, 1968. He represented the riding of Algoma East. He was a member of the Liberal Party. Lester B. Pearson died in Ottawa, Ontario on December 27, 1972. Lester B. Pearson had accomplishments and he had failures. His biggest accomplishment was the establishment of a universal Medicare system. Many provinces were hesitant at the beginning, but by 1972, every province and territory was a part of it. His biggest failure was the rocky start his government had. The budget was not a success. To start off, Finance Minister Walter Gordon consulted with three Toronto experts instead of his own staff. A big decision that damaged relationships with the U.S. was a tax on foreign acquisitions of Canadian businesses that did not go well with Canadian and American business people, even with President John F. Kennedy. His second biggest accomplishment was the establishment of the Canada Pension Plan and its Quebec version, the Quebec Pension Plan. It was originally created in response to many retired Canadians who were in poverty, and it was expanded and still exists today for everyone. His second biggest failure was not one that you could entirely say was his fault, but it was the issue of Quebec separatism, if you could say that was the issue. Um, he tried me methods of cooperative federalism and bilingualism and biculturalism to help Quebec and other provinces kind of be equals, because at this point, Quebec sort of felt like they were unequal uh, with the rest of the provinces. So uh, he was faced with a hard time, but... Um, it was even worse when uh, the French president, Charles de Gaulle, at that time came for a visit and he uh, uttered a separatist um, phrase, vive le Quebec libre, which is uh, basically long live free, free Quebec. Um, so uh, that didn't really go over well. Uh, the president left, obviously, um, after that. But uh, no matter what Quebec representation was in the cabinet, because there were a few Quebec ministers, including Pierre Trudeau, uh, no matter what he did, it couldn't get under control. His third biggest accomplishment was the establishment of the current day Canadian flag. There was a lot of controversy over the new flag and whether it was needed or not. There was also a lot of division between English and French Canadians over it. So it is an accomplishment to have got it done. His third biggest failure was the inability to win elections on a large scale. Pearson actually won two minority governments and two successful ones, probably the most successful minority governments in the history of, of Canada. However, he just wasn't able to get a hold of a majority of Canadians, but that didn't stop him from getting things done. Today, Lester B. Pearson is remembered as uh, the most successful prime minister under minority government. Oh, and also his nickname was Mike. So he's remembered as Mike. Don't know why, but that was his nickname. Uh, he'll especially be remembered because the amount of important stuff that lasts today, that lasts to today, that he was able to do in a minority with just five years. Um, the Medicare, the pension plan, he got, he started all that. So final recap of Lester B. Pearson is that he served from 1963 to 1968, introduced national Medicare, but had a rocky start with a not so good budget, jeopardizing foreign affairs. In the future, Lester B. Pearson will be remembered as an overall successful prime minister. 
So that's all for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed learning about Lester B. Pearson. You can check out some more videos about all the Canadian Prime Ministers on this channel. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, click the subscribe button, and make sure you click the notification bell so you never miss a video. Make sure to also check out my website, VincenzoCala.com, and follow VC Productions on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. So until the next video, I'm Vincenzo Cala, signing out. Meet the PMs is a VCALA production.